Hello, this is Don Potter in Odessa, Texas. I'm a teacher in the schools and I'm a phonics teacher and I know how to teach and I've taught literally hundreds of boys and girls and even teenagers and even adults how to read with phonics. And I'm going to show you today uh, what you need to do to be a good reader. And some of the books you're going to get to read, I'll show you some of my favorites. This one right here, Dr. Dan the Band-Aid Man. Bandage Man, excuse me. Dr. Dan the Bandage Man. This was my favorite book when I was about this boy's age right here and in the picture. And I remember when my mom and dad got me a copy of this. And I was a little boy, maybe first grade, and it had a Band-Aid on the end, stuck on the inside of it here. And uh, my kids knew I liked this book. And so a few years ago, they bought it for me uh, to have like a keepsake. And then a book that I used to read to my kids all the time, How Fletcher Was Hatched. You're talking about a great book. I, I have read this book. I have uh, four children. They're child grown now, but four children. And uh, I've read How Fletcher Was Hatched to all of them over and over again. It is an awesome story about a, let me show you here, about a, a uh, little dog who felt bad because his master liked the chickens more than him. And he thought that if he could be hatched like a chicken, then maybe she would love him like she loved the little chickens and this is all a story about how they they put Fletcher in a made an egg and put Fletcher in it and it is a great story but anyway but these stories are kind of off limits you have to have somebody else read them to you. you know how to read and then uh, and when you get big I'll tell you one book I've read I just can't even tell you how many times is The Hobbit or There and Back Again by J.R.R. Tolkien. And he's got a bunch of uh, three other big books called The Lord of the Rings uh, that you're going to want to read. And I've read so many times, and I've read these in my classes to boys and girls at school. But now the question is, how are you going to read these books? Well, if you notice, they have words in them. The words are made up of sentences. Excuse me, the words are made up of letters. And then you have uh, sentences made up of the words. So to learn how to read, you're going to have to learn the letters, how sentences work, and uh, the meaning of the words. So let me show you how we're going to do that. And I'm going to go really fast on this. If you are a blend phonics student, your teacher, or if you're my student, I sent home with you this little package. This is a little package I sent home with my students. It has everything in it you need to learn how to read. You have a notebook in the back, and in this notebook, you're going to be writing your words and sentences that you're going to be learning. And writing is very, very important. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to hold a pencil and how to write all the words. It's going to be so much fun writing your own stories and, um, and things. Then the next thing is the phonovisual chart, and that's what this video is all about. Also in the package that you take home with you is my book. And this is a great book. I have taught so many boys and girls, and yes, even adults, to read with blend phonics lessons and stories. It's got my name on the front of it. And on the back, if you want to see who's teaching, there's kind of a, 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 a picture of myself on the a back. This is a complete phonics system for teaching reading, comprehension, and spelling. Okay. Uh, when you start studying my book, and we're going to open up to the first uh, page here, the first lesson is called, well, even before the first lesson, you're going to be learning how to, um, wait till the video catches up, you're going to learn how to read these words. And notice we it's called blend phonics because you're going to learn the B first, which is B. Then you're going to learn the A, which is A, and you put it together and you have a blend. Not a word, but a blend. And that's the word BA, or excuse me, the blend is BA. And then we add a T on the end and we have BAT. BAT. I hit the ball with a bat. And your teacher is going to be teaching you how to sound out, or your mom and dad, maybe, how to sound all these words out. Or if you're coming to me, I'll be teaching you. Then, then we're going to read our first story. And there are 62 stories in my little uh, book here. This is a great book. You're going to love it. Uh, because when you get done reading this, going through my book, you're going to know how to read all those other books I showed you and thousands more. So the lesson is at the top. You're going to be reading all of these words 
using your phonics sounding out skill with that is blend phonics with directional guidance then you're going to read a simple little story that just basically uses the words that you've learned then once you read the story you're going to answer four uh, let me get my finger out of the way there there we go you're going to answer four questions and then you're going to spell these words and the way you're going to spell the words is your teacher your mom or me is going to say the word for example the first words bat so I'll say bat spell bat and you will say the letter names B A T you also can spell the the words and this is the way that we learn we go right straight through this book but the question is how do I know the sounds of the letters and that's what this video this short video is all about because when you bring your package home your little package here that you're gonna bring keep all your stuff in uh, you're gonna pull out these two this chart there's two charts one on the front and one on the back and I put it in this plastic page protector so there's actually two pages in there okay if you can see that why well, put them in there to protect it and if you're in school you can take this to school and lay it on your desk and when your teacher asks you to read a word if you don't know it you can look at it and she'll be really pleased to see how well you can read on this side we have all the consonants and on the back side we have all the vowels now I know you've been told there are five vowels but there's actually 18 vowel sounds and on this side of the chart you're gonna have all of the sounds and we'll show you how that works in just a minute so okay what I'm gonna do in this video and this is gonna be so helpful I mean you're gonna be absolutely amazed you're gonna amaze your friends your teacher and even if they're using a different reading program at your school for example uh, do you know a lot of kids are you in all kind of programs have to come to me for tutoring to learn how to read I don't always know why but whatever the reason is they always learn to read with me and I always teach these charts so I'm gonna go down this chart with you and teach you how it works and you're going to be an expert on uh, you'll be the expert in teaching phonics okay starting at the top of the chart Let's see this is the consonants okay and um, now we're going to start at the top notice this yellow pink green and blue the reason for that is the reason for that is that all of these sounds in the yellow are whisper consonants some people call them um, um, unvoiced consonants or voiceless consonants but when teaching boys and girls I'm just going to teach you that these are the these consonants right here are the um, whisper consonants because you whisper them and we're going to say the word notice the line after the word whoops where are we at here notice the line after the word as the word pig that means that you're going to listen for the first sound in the word so let's say the word with me pig and what is the first sound in pig let's see if we can figure it out pig p, p, p. you can hear that can't you pig p. now something that can be a big help to you and I recommend I just got this one right here but any of them will do here's a little mirror and if you will look in the mirror and now you can see my document camera up there but if you will look in the mirror you'll be able to see how your mouth forms these letters and if you're working with your parent or a teacher or friend you can look at their mouth and make sure your mouth looks like their mouth and your sound sounds like their sound and a little mirror like this is a really handy tool to have uh, with you when you're learning how to read okay the second sound is going to be come from the word wheel wheel whoa wheel whoa whoa next is fan f, f, f. kind of hard to hear you have to listen real close fan f. next we have 
three. And here you stick your tongue out. By the way, in case you wondered what the pH is, those are called secondary spellings. And your teacher will teach them all about you, but you can spell the F sound with an F and sometimes with a PH. Maybe you've already looked at the word phone and saw that it starts with a PH or a photograph. Next is TH is the sound. You stick your tongue out and just blow air out around it. As in the word three. Three. Next, we have a picture of a top. What's the first sound you hear in top? Listen close. Top. T. 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 That's right. By the way, you're going to be the smart one in the class because it's really not correct to say T. The uh is not a part of the T sound. You don't say T op. You just say top. Okay? And that's going to put you at your head of your class. You're going to be the number one phonics teacher in your class. Teachers often say that about my students. Next, what do we have next? We have a picture of a saw, okay? And the saw, the first sound in saw is what? Can you hear it? Saw. Saw. Man, you can make that go a long time, can't you? Saw. I cut the wood with a saw. And the C underneath there tells me that sometimes the C can also have the S sound. And I'll let you a little secret. When the C has an E, I, or Y after it, it makes the S sound. It always does. Remember that rule. When C is followed by an E, I, or Y. It's going to say tss. Next, we have the SH, as in the word ship. Sh, ship. Say it with me. Ship. You can look in your mirror and see how you form the sound. Next one's almost like ship. It's not quite. It's ch, cherry. Cherry. And you wonder about the TCH when it's at the end of a word. It'll Followed by a short vowel, it'll often it will have the t it'll be spelled t c h. Ch, ch. Next we have a key. Uh, say key, and then listen for the sound. K, k, key. K. By the way, notice the key, uh, the k can be spelled or the k the k sound can be spelled with a k, a c, or a c k. And you'll learn all about that. In our program, for a long time, the C will only have the K sound. Then later, we'll introduce the S sound. So starting out, just work, just use the K sound. The K sound. And at the bottom, we have a horn. And the horn goes... Well, let's, do, let's say the word first. Horn. Horn. There you go. Okay, so that's all of the whisper consonants. Sorry I can't get this whole thing on the on the screen. I had it on the screen at one time, and I don't know what happened uh, for sure. Okay, now we're going to start at the top. And we have a picture of a... These are called the voice consonants. You're going to use your voice in these consonants. And by the way, you can put your finger on your neck underneath your chin. Uh, uh, I say your neck, your Adam's apple there. If you put your finger right there and you say the the sound, you're going to feel it vibrate because these have uh, sound with them, and that's your voice box. So these are called voice consonants. Anyway, the first one is bear, the b of bear. So say b, bear, b. Next is wagon, w, wagon, w. Valentine, v. V, this, th, this, th. Notice it's just like the th of three. Only now you're using your voice. Next we have a picture of a duck, and the sound is d, duck, d, d. Notice the d starts with a circle, or a yeah, a circle there. And when you make your mouth, it forms kind of a circle. If you look in the mirror, you can see that. And by the way, notice the b starts with a line. And when you, um, when you make the B, your lips come together to form a line. Next, we have zebra. Z, zebra, z. And sometimes the S has a Z sound. And we learn more about that as you go through my book, Blend Phonics Lessons and Stories. At the bottom, we have two more sounds the J of jar, and that is J, a real quick sound, J. And sometimes the G has a J sound, but you won't learn that until late in my program. There's a whole lesson and story just about the 
the G that makes the J sound. And then we have a goat. Goat, and that is going to be the G sound. Goat, G. I don't know if you notice, but as you go down the chart, you start in the front of the mouth with the B, B. And you go to the back of the mouth at the bottom with the G. The green are nose sounds. Big people call them nasals, but you can just call them nose sounds. Notice the M mm, comes out your nose. Mm. You can again look in the mirror. It's very similar to the P and the B, isn't it? Let me say them. P, B, mm. Did you notice your mouth is the same? Then we have a nest, and that's the N mm sound. Mm. And notice the T and the D and the N are very similar. We have T, D, N. Mm. And if you look at it in your mouth a little bit, you can actually see your tongue touching the roof of your mouth right behind your teeth. And at the bottom of our chart, we have a little girl on a swing, and the sound is mm, swing, swing. Notice, <coughs> excuse me, the line is at the uh, in front of the NG, showing it at, at, at the sound is at the end of the word swing, not at the front. Now, the blue consonants, we just call those Excuse me. We just call those the other consonants. So we have qu uh, queen, qu, qu, and the U there is actually silent, qu. Then the L of leaf, l, leaf, say leaf, l. And notice that the, the T, D, N, and L are similar. You have t, d, n, l. And sometimes kids, when they're just first learning, confuse these sounds a little bit. Then we have rabbit, rabbit. By the way, the letter sound is not uh, er and it's not r. It's just rabbit. Next is a picture of a yard. So it's going to be the yard. Y. That's the consonant sound of the Y. It also has some vowel sounds you'll learn later. And then at the bottom, we have a picture of a box. Notice the lines in front of it, so it's going to be at the end of the word. That's what you're listening for, so it's box. It's kind of like a K and an H together. Box. Or a K and an S, excuse me. Box. Yeah, K and an S. Box. Okay, turn it over. we got to hurry here. We're already 17 minutes. I hope you're not getting tired. If you are, you can stop the tape right here and take a little break and then come back to it. Uh, we're going to go... We're going to be looking at the vowels. There's 18 vowel sounds in English, but look at all the ways you can spell them. Oh, my goodness. It looks hard, but we're going to make it easy. When you go through blend phonics, we teach these sounds one at, or the spellings one at a time, so you won't be confused at all. And you're going to be an awesome speller when you finish blend phonics. Every student who goes through blend phonics learns to read well, and every student that goes through blend phonics learns to spell well. So here we go. We have the vowels. By the way, we need to learn how to spell so we can write lots of stories. And that's one of the things you'll be writing in your, yes, you remember it, in your journal that you'll be bringing home every day. So you're not only reading stories, you're going to be writing stories with your beautiful handwriting. Now, the vowels in the first row, going all the way across, okay, are the long vowels. So we have... Say the word with me. Cake. And listen for the sound in cake. Cake. A. A. Below it, you have A, Y, A, I. And I wrote in E, A because sometimes E, A can say the A sound. That's not on the phonovisual chart that you're going to, when you buy it. Anyway, so we have cake. A. And I know you wonder what that line is right there. Let's put a letter in it. Let's put the letter uh T in there, okay? So now what do we have? We have eight. Well, that's cool. If we put a P in there, we have the word ape. If we put a C in the front and a K where that line is, we have the word we just read, cake. Now the A, Y, and A, I are other ways that the A can be spelled in other words. And by the way, the A-Y can be used at the end of the word, but the A-I can only be used inside the word. Next is the word, or is a, whoops, lost my, my little thing right there. 
By the way, I got this set on a copy of Shakespeare. You might want to read that someday, too. Here we go. Um, now we're ready. We have tree E, and the double E says E. So when you see two E's in a word, you're going to say the E sound. As If I put a B in front of it, I would have what? B. And if I put an S, I would have the word C. And T, I have the word, or TR, I have the word tree. Okay. And notice E at the end of a word like B and me is just spelt with a single E. And EA can also say E in some words. You're going to learn all those. You're going to make it really easy for you. Next, we have 5I. And um, notice if we put the, a C where the little line is, it's going to be the C. Here's going to make the S sound. It's going to be ice, right? Ice. So the I it can also be spelled with y, uh, y at the end of a short word like by and cry and my. And I-G-H in words like light. So when you're reading in your books or in your class or in my blend phonics, be looking for these spelling patterns and think of the picture. The picture is a clue to help you remember the sound. Next we have the O of rose and... Um, the that's O dash E, uh, and if I wrote an R in the front and and an um, excuse me yeah uh, and an S where the line is, I would have the word rose R O S E. Then we also have O A as in the word boat, and O W as in the word bow, and O is sometimes uh, long at the end of words like no and so. And the last long sound is U of mule. And if you put an M in front of U and put an L in there, you have the word mule. And sometimes it's, it's spelled E-W like in the word few. So let's do this together. Cake A. Say it with me. Let's, let me start over. Say it with me. Cake A. Tree E. Five I. Rose O. Mule U. Five long vowel sounds. A. E, I, O, U. The next row are the short vowels. And in blend phonics, we're going to learn these first. We'll learn all the short vowels first. And in fact, the first lesson and story has only the short A in it. So to keep you from becoming confused, uh, we go step by step by step. Each step's a small step. It's going to be easy. But when you get to the end, you're going to be all the way to the top of the ladder of learning to read. So let's take a look. We have the word, uh, we're going to say the word cat. Listen to the sound. Cat. Ah. Cat. Ah. And those lines indicate where we can put consonants. If we put a B and an A, we have ba. And we put a T at the end, we have bat. And you're going to read literally thousands of words uh, immediately. Even in a lot of your books and things, just look around. Find the A, and if there's a consonant uh, at the end, it's going to make the short sound. You're going to be able to read it. Next is the short E, which is eh, bed, bed, eh. Say the sound bed. Listen for the eh, bed, eh. Next is a fish, um, and you're listening for the sound in the middle when we do the vowels, not at the front. So it's going to be fish, eh, fish, eh. And next is a top. When I was a kid, we all had tops to play with. I think you can still get them today. But anyway, ah, top. And again, if you put a T on the front and a P on the end, you just spell the word top. And finally, you have the duck, uh. Duck, uh. So let's do it. We're going to go cat, ah, uh, bed, eh, uh, fish, eh, uh, top, ah, uh, duck, ah. Uh. And then you say the short sounds one after the other. Ah, uh, eh, uh, eh, uh, ah, uh, uh. Children who know those sounds are going to find reading really easy. Now down here at the bottom, and I'm sorry you can't see the whole thing on this screen. Um, I had it set where you could, and it 
readjusted itself somehow. But anyway, down here at the bottom, these are all these vowels are called the other vowels, just other. So you have at the top long vowels, short vowels, other vowels. What do we call them? Other vowels, right? So now we have the word, uh, the sound for a w. Here is going to be all of saw, all, and it can be spelled a u and also in the word a l l. Next, we have a car, and the R is in parentheses. That's those funny-looking little lines that are called parentheses. Anyway, they indicate to you that the R is going to change the sound of this letter. So this is going to be R of car. So whenever you see A-R in a word, you're going to think R, car. Now, all these letters have an O in it. That's why they're in this column here. And the first other sound is oo of moon, oo, book, uh, cow, ow, boy, oi, fork, or. So it's going to be oo, uh, ow, oi, or. And here we have er of fur. And it's pretty tricky because it can be spelled different ways. But don't worry. We have a whole lesson. Actually, two lessons and stories. Three, I think. About, well, yeah. Almost, well, four if we count the other two. Anyway, we have several stories. And you will not have any trouble with that. So there's the phonovisual chart. Let me do something here. I'm going to turn my little viewer here this way. And I'm going to tell my program to rotate, to rotate it, or I think I am. Here we go, to rotate it. Okay, now watch this. There we go. Now, now you can see the whole thing. So we're going to turn it over. Now here's what I want you to do every day while you're learning. At least once a day, you need to go through your chart. I'm going to do it, and you do it with me. This is the exercise. By the way, I call this a tapping exercise because as we go down, I would like you to actually put your finger on there and tap on the picture. That kind of makes it go up into your brain. So here we go. Pig, p, wheel, w, fan, f, three, f, top, Saw, s, ship, sh, cherry, ch, key, k, horn, h. Now we do the voice consonants. Those were whisper. Bear, b, wagon, w, valentine, v, this, th, duck, d, zebra, z, jar, j. Goat, g, monkey, m, mm. nest, n, mm. swing, n, mm. queen, qu, leaf, l, rabbit, r, yard, y, box, x. Those are the consonants. Vowels. Here we go. And we do our vowels across to start with. So we have cake A, tree E, five I, rose O, mule U, A, E, I, O, U, short vowels, cat A, bed A, fish E, top A, duck A, A, E, E, A, A, very good. Now the other vowels, saw, aw, car, r, moon, oo, book, uh, cow, ow, boy, oi, fork, or, fur, er. All right, that's it. So every day, be sure and go through this chart. When you're reading your when you're reading your books, maybe you're going to be reading. Dr. Dan, the, uh, Dr. Dan, the bandage man, okay? And right here we have 
D-A-N. What sound's that going to be? Well, here it is. Look at this right here. We're going to have the A of cat. And then we have the O in doctor. What sound's that going to be? Here we have the O of top. Ah, ah, doctor. Okay. And we have the word man down here if you want to do that one. The A with the M, A, N. Man, you can start sounding out words. And go through. You can be able to, no time at all, you're going to be able to sit down and Read all these great books in the library, and, and maybe your mom will take you to one of the good bookstores and, or, or go online and buy you some books. The secret, though, is going through the phonics charts in conjunction with blend phonics. And your parents, when they do this, by the way, I have a, oh, where is it at here? right here there's actually a place your parents can look at and here's a black and white picture of the charts and over here is a page for your parents that will tell them y'all you don't need to worry about this your parents will look at this but this tells you exactly which when to teach the sounds on the chart okay this is Donald Potter my website is www.donpotter.net and www.blendphonics.com Dot org, and I'm sure you're going to be a great reader.